And at this point in time, we are ready. Um, all of our systems are ready to respond to any weather system that may come um, this year. Leader of the Hurricane Restoration Team, Johan Graves, assuring Barbadians uh, the Barbados Light and Power Company is in a better position to respond and restore electricity in the aftermath of a storm or hurricane. That was the major test last year. After Hurricane Elsa lashed Barbados with high winds and heavy rains, causing widespread damage to the utilities network. The director of operations explains the company moved early to secure stock and equipment to respond to any emergency situations this year. Last year we started to see the issues around supply chain around the world um, and as such from last year normally we would um, we would normally order our hurricane stock around March of the year. We started ordering from October last year. And believe it or not, um, only up to this month, we would have gotten some of those orders that were ordered since October last year. So it showed us that we, that we did make a good move by um, ordering those things early. And this operation by the Light and Power Company along My Lord Hill St. Michael is part of that plan to build a network resilience. This transmission line is being relocated from an underground area in the Bell, which became difficult to access. That's why the company's engineers have made the decision to bring it above ground and on the poles. While it appears the move would expose more of the network to the elements, the engineers say this will actually put them in a better position to repair the transmission and distribution lines in a more timely manner if they sustain storm damage. Over the years, um, um, the, the area has become controlled by bush and so on, therefore making it, and it the areas that we cannot access comfortably with our vehicles. So this is our process in relocating to make life easier for us and for our customers as well. It's all about the lessons learned from responding in the aftermath of ELSA. Engineering manager Nika Archer explains. During the hurricane, what we would have addressed was the major poles in order to get the lanes back up and running. But then we had some further complaints that, you know, a pole leaning, you know, trees on lanes and that type of thing. We went back up to now we're still doing it. Every single one of those complaints, we actually developed what we call a work order for and we are working on it up to now. And other contingencies are in place to ensure the reliability of this section of the network to ensure residents are not without power for extended periods. We have the network in such a way that if we lose this line, we have other lines that we can back it up with that are on the ground. So initially when we have a hurricane or a large storm, what we do is we try to make sure that all our on the ground system is safe. Now this work continues on weekends between 8 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. Yes, there is a slight inconvenience where traffic is concerned and electricity is out in this St. Michael community as BLMP crews conduct their work. But the company expects the work will result in a better and more resilient service during the hurricane season and beyond.